Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about Flux. It's a brand new model that's been released by Black Forest Labs and it's really the best model I've used in Stable Diffusion at the moment. This company is the bee's knees. It's got a $31 million of seed funding already built in. It's integrated straight into Comfy UI from day one and they've released an open source model which you can actually download today. So in this video, I'll show you some examples of the model that I've been playing around with and I'll share with you the workflow and I recommend you guys go in and have a play with it because I think you'll be blown away just like I was. This first example, cat with some text. First thing I did notice was a consistency of getting this text right. I tried the same thing with SD3 and a number of times it got the text wrong. I had to correct it with negative prompting. In this model, it just got it right first time. I was blown away. The consistency of this model is you can see the lighting was another feature of this model that really impressed me. Here's a variation of the same image and you can see here the image is really really good. If I zoom in here and I see these little fish, you can see that these little fish actually look exactly like a fish. Wording is all correct. I didn't do any prompting there. In terms of the cat, I specified a ginger cat and the image quality was really good. Paws are accurate as well. The layout of the cat, it looks correct. Got the eyes exactly looking at the fish. Super impressed. Also the reflections at the top you can see here. First try and it blew me away at how accurate it was. I tried something different here. This is an alien supermodel holding the word welcome flux. The same result, the words exactly right. You can see the fingers here are so much better than SD3. It actually looks correct in terms of the positioning of the fingers. Overall, it really performed well. I wanted to follow on with Cat's theme and I wanted to have an image where we had AR slop imprinted on a soda can inside of a car. And it got this one also correct. Did notice that I did have some issues around the pause. I just changed the prompt slightly and it adjusted it. Really impressive continuing the Cat theme. I wanted to then test start the portraits of the model basically a portrait of a russian supermodel and the lighting of this is really impressive i think it's the soft lighting that really got me with this model Continuing on from the theme, I asked ChatGPT just for some example prompt and it spat out this one, which was really good in terms of arcane power with some tattoos in the back and the quality of the eyes and everything is just beautiful. Really impressed with this example as well. This is more of a fantasy type of queen elf. You can see here with the backlit of the sun and you can see here the sunlight coming through and the different strands of hair coming through as well. So I was super impressed with this. It also had a fantasy feeling to the welcome flux and it got this exactly right. Even a little bit of elven you could probably see on the top right hand corners over here and that low light blurred background as well which was beautiful this is another one of the same sort of prompting over here to see what it looked like massive elf ears got that backlighting it's even put in a nice little floral arrangement over there you can see the hands are fingers are accurate as well these are also some really good ones with some text in a piece you can see the sunlight coming through and also hitting it really soft focus some some of these images probably could be used for marketing here's another one spirit of adventure really blown by, away by this one as well with the eyes everything looks beautiful so got all the words correct as well grace in motion the only negative of this probably image is that it's not as sharp as i would have liked it in terms of the face this theme was more of a cyberpunk type of thing neon dreams it got neon dreams exactly right and it got this sort of image here you can see Probably some fault of it is the quality of that person's face. I'm really nitpicking here with in terms of the image quality. Lighting, fantastic. Reflections at the bottom. It looks like a scene out of Cyberpunk. Fantastic. This is obviously from the creators of Flux over here. You can see some of the detail in terms of the old schoolness of this image. Flux obviously written and the background is blurred. Here's another image as well of a similar type of styling computer and really impressed here's some other examples of flux dev so flux dev is obviously the one of the models and it's imprinted here on a cake 
so this is really nice here's another one of flux chanel which is one of the other models in chocolate as well printed looks beautiful so here's another one where i did actually ask it for a bit more words it didn't get this right in terms of the quote that's probably the only one that i noticed that didn't actually produce cor correctly in terms of this modeling uh, here's another example of some low light you can see here it's light sort of imagery this is comfy ui if you guys don't know what comfy ui is check out this video on the top of the screen to install it and then come back here flow i'll share with you is really quick and straightforward there's just a couple things you need to download four files you guys need to download one for the flux model two for the clip and there's one for the vi if you've got a 16 gig vram or 24 gig vram i recommend you download this one which is the 24 gig you'll get the maximum graphics fidelity you guys have less than 16 then you can run it on this fp8 which is around 12 gigs the one thing to note is inside your comfy ui portable folder within the models it doesn't go inside your checkpoints folder like it normally does there is actually another folder called unit which you don't have to create it's already there and you basically need to put your flux one dev inside here your flux model these two clips that are used are the ones that sd3 uses so if you guys have those already you might not need to download them again there's just this clip l safe tenses file and there's also the fp8 and fp16 as well that you can use and that's obviously configured here in the clips so you can see fp8 and clip l and then the last one is the vi which is in this location over here clear 335 meg file that you can put inside your vi folder within comfy ui which is in models into vi you should put it over here which is there. That's all you need to get started. Here are some of the run times. So I'm running a 4080S. It runs in about 29 seconds. And then you can see some other things. I'll share this with you as well. And you can then generate your image like usual. Obviously the prompt goes in here and there's no negative conditioning as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and I'll see you next time. If you guys are craving some more AI videos, check out these AI videos on screen. Stay safe.